Hello and welcome to today's video. So I am so excited. I have got a home bargains haul ready for you today. So I have had a few trips to home bargains um, in the last like two weeks. I think I've been like three times because there's certain things I want, especially from their Valentine's Day range. I love decorating for Valentine's Day, real weird. And yes, I do still have um, birthday decorations up. I'm actually currently filming this a week after my birthday. Um, the flowers are still going strong and I thought they still, still look cute. And the balloons, it's because I am absolutely terrified of letting balloons down because in case they pop, it's just like a weird fear. Um, so I do still have balloons. Anyway, let me show you what I have recently bought from my bargains. Oh my god, the first thing is so flipping cute. Um, they had an amazing thing, um, stander like on the ends of dog jumpers and coats. Oh my god, look at this knitwear for a dog. This is incredible. This is so, obviously it's a pet jumper. It's like, oh my god, can you see? It's like totally knitwear. Um, we got him a, a large, we got the size and a large for Troy. Don't think he, he's like in between a medium and a large because he's not very big. Um, but he's quite long. So yes, we've got this for him. I really liked the cream knit, which obviously is just so traditional and just so flipping adorable. Um, Banthe was worried about it getting like mucky and things. So we went for the navy blue. This was only three pounds, I, I remember rightly. I remember looking at it and thinking, oh my God, these prices are amazing. I could literally buy everything. And to be quite honest, if I go back, I probably will buy something else for him because they are so freaking cute. Um, so yes, three pounds for a dog jumper. I always worry about him being cold, especially like when we come back from a walk, like he goes out, wait, I put a coat on him so that he's warm. And then when he comes in, I obviously take the coat off of him. And then I always think it's gonna be too cold. So jumpers are great for that time. Next up, I actually wasn't sure if I wanted this or not, but I thought it's only like 1.99, so I thought I'd get it. And it is an under shelf mug holder. Um, so you literally just slide it under your shelf and then hang your mugs off of it. It's silver for one, um, which I don't like. I would probably amend that. For now in this house, in this kitchen, it's okay for silver. In the new one, it probably won't be. Um, but it's easy just to probably spray paint this. But like I said, it was literally like, I don't think it was 1.99, I think it was like 1.19, something quite like that. Um, so it's not like the best, like, I don't know, it's, it's cheap. And that's why I picked it up. I quite like the idea of just like splaying all my mugs together. Now that I've got my new coffee corner with my Nespresso machine. Um, so like I said, so cheap that I couldn't not pick it up. Every single time I do a home burgers haul, you probably noticed that there is a certain thing that I buy every single time. Um, and again, without fail, I did it this time. It is the Garnier Moisture, Moisture Bomb Sheet Mask. I love these. I love every single one of them. They are literally like the only masks that I use because they are so good. Um, so I've got the like the original one, which is hydrating skin, and then the lavender one, which is for tired skin. These two are my favourites, as well as the um, the blackhead one as well. I really actually like that. But these are amazing for moisture, and they actually really help with spots for me. I've noticed so. Love them. They're one ninety nine, I think, each in home bargains, which is cheaper than Boots, unless Boots have got them an offer. Um, I think then it's Boots that are cheaper. But they've got like all the range in there, so brilliant stocking up. And the last lot of things is actually all the Valentine's Day stuff. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Um, so like I said, I do decorate. I started decorating last year, and I loved it. I did like a dinner for me and Anthony, set the table up, got some like decorations out. Um, so yes, the first thing I bought was a Love Foil Balloon, so it's just, it's not very big, it's small, oh you don't need helium for it, but of course you know it's quite small so you don't want to float around do you? Um, this was, I don't actually remember the prices, I don't think I have a receipt. So the Love Balloon, this was only 99p, bargain, absolutely love it, um, I think it's one that you could probably use year after year. 
Oh, maybe not actually. It's when you have to put a straw in and then blow through the straw. So I thought this was super cute. It is a foil and glitter bunting. So they are just hearts. They've got the red foil and then um, the pink glitter. This is so cute. I just love anything that's like pink and red. My Instagram feed is currently like a pink phase at the moment. So Valentine's Day fits into that very well. So this three meters is 79p. Dead cheap if you wanna just like, just spruce up for seasonal stuff, it's so good. Rather than having to like splurge out on anything major. I picked up the eight um, heart tea lights. These are the pink ones. They do them in red as well, but I did pick up some red ones last year from Poundland. Um, and I think I only use like two of them. So I only picked up the pink ones. I think these are well cute. When I did our dinner last year for, Chris, uh, for Valentine's Day, I put like these dotted around on the table and just lit them. It's so cute, we're romantic. I must have bought the candles in a different shop because they're actually not on this receipt. So like I said, I went a few times looking for different stuff. So that must have been a different shop. And then every year on my Instagram, I not every year, like every season, I do a food board, like a sweetie food board. Um, so I picked up these. These are just some chocolate hearts. Obviously, just chocolate in a red foil heart. Don't really know what I'm saying. Uh, just to go with that. The probably bought them because they're cheap. To be honest, I don't usually eat chocolate like this because it's usually classed as like cheap chocolate. Um, but these was. 89p. Then also to go on the food board, love hearts. I like love hearts. I actually eat these, not quite a lot, but the sweets I would actually like go out and buy and eat. So these were only 85p. Um, and there's a big pack in here. I don't know how many are in here, but again, it's for like the food board, so I can just like put them in a little heart dish, and oh, they just look so cute. Um, and everyone knows like these I would like to do with Valentine's Day. When I was in school, um, for, I think I only did it once actually, for one Valentine's Day, I bought the big, bigger packs of these and gave them to my friends as the cute little like Valentine's gift. So I say I'm not romantic, but this is pretty romantic. So that is everything for my um, home bag against haul. I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you next week for a brand new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.